Hello and welcome to another video taking you all the way back to the year 1995 when these toys here were released from Burger King. I thought I would honor one of the best movie franchises of all time because they just released Toy Story 4 on Blu-ray, which if you haven't seen it, honestly, when it first was announced that it was coming out, I really did not want to see it because I thought Toy Story 3 was perfect. I thought I had a perfect ending and everything, but Toy Story 4 is a movie that I loved and I never knew I really needed. So to honor that, I am bringing you guys the Burger King toys that I remember buying when I was 15 years old when this movie first came out. So going back to 1995, I remember a group of us guys from high school went to go see the movie, but before we did, we stopped by Burger King and got this very toy right here. This is actually the Woody doll that I bought when I was 15. As you can see, if you look at it, he's missing some fingers. I think he got chewed on by an animal over the years but this is my actual toy for when I was 15 years old. And you know, 15 is kind of old, I think, to have toys. And I remember some of the guys were like, dude, why are you buying that toy? And I was like, I don't care. This movie is gonna be great. It looks amazing. And I'm glad I bought it because this is one of my favorite toys from when I was, I guess a kid, you know, 15 is not kind of a kid. So the first thing I wanna show you is the actual kids meal cup. That was released in 1995. There it is right there. Show you. So that's what you would have gotten if you would have ordered a kid's meal from Burger King back in 1995. I also have the bag that was released in 95 as well. So that's what you would have gotten your meal in. Wonder if it still has that smell. Nope, it smells like paper. Got the actual items you received inside of the meal itself. <laughs> and here I even have a receipt. I guess this person here ordered a kid's Sprite. Came to $2.11. Here's a little pamphlet you would have gotten with your meal. And here's the actual tray paper that you would have gotten if you would have ordered it inside the store itself. I've even got the container that holds the kids meal fries right there. And one more thing, this thing I'm really excited about because what is the number one thing that you think of when you think of Burger King, when, when you're a kid at least? The crowns that you can get. And I actually have the crown that came in 1995. Let's see if I can even figure this thing out. Yeah, it doesn't fit my head. All right, so onto the toys. I think you pay like a dollar or maybe $2 more to get these upgraded toys. First one I'm gonna open up is Ham. One of my favorite characters, Ham. Let's go and open him up. You'll see that there's a hole there because they're actually all puppets. And you insert your fingers. My hand's a little too big for this, but there we go. Very well well made, honestly. They really do not make kids and meals toys this way anymore. So he was voiced by John Ratzenberger. Of course, you know him from Cheers. He was the main character on Cheers. And he's actually on every single Pixar movie ever made. And he's really one of my favorite characters in the Toy Story franchise. It's a really cool puppet, really high quality too. You, you cannot find kids with toys made this way anymore. Really well made. And here is the insert that you get with this toy. It 
And the next one I want to open up is seriously another one of my favorites from the Toy Story franchise. We have Rex, voiced by Wallace Shawn. Who, of course, you know him from The Princess Bride, one of the lead actors there. Here he is. All right, the insert will tell you how to operate the puppet. Here is the insert. But there we go. Before I open up the next one, I want to tell you guys about our Patreon campaign going on. Starting at only two bucks a month, you can get your name back here at the end of every one of these unboxing videos. And it really does help us out because operating a show where you unbox old retro toys is not cheap. I mean, I have to buy these toys, usually on eBay or convention or something. They're not cheap. And so if you want to keep seeing more of these episodes, please consider donating to our Patreon campaign. It really will help us out quite a bit, honestly. And also remember to check out my podcast called Saturday Morning Rewind. I interview voice actors. We talk about retro video games and retro cartoons from the 80s and 90s. I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. I've had some major voice actors on the podcast that, that haven't really been heard anywhere else in the podcast world. So go check that out, SaturdayMorningRewind.com. You'll find the Patreon campaign and the podcast right there. All right, so next we have Buzz Lightyear himself. Of course, voiced by Tim Allen, who I loved on Home Improvement in the 90s. What's cool is I never had anybody else besides the Woody doll. So I'm excited to add all these to my collection, which is another reason why I love doing the show, to get all the toys that I always wanted but never got. All right, so let's see what the pamphlet says about good old Buzz here. Right there. It says to put your thumb in here for the left hand, put your pointer finger to the right hand, and there we go. Man, I kind of regret not having this one as a kid because I really do love Buzz. I mean, this looks better than the toys they released for Toy Story 4 at Walmart. So last, but definitely not least, we have Woody. Of course, voiced by Tom Hanks himself, who, I don't, he's done so many amazing things. I, it's hard to pinpoint a favorite movie that he's been in. I, I, I want to say probably Big would be my favorite movie of his because it's all about the 80s and, and being a kid again and and uh, all the toys that were out in the 80s and everything. But he's done so many amazing things that I could I can honestly list probably 20 more of his movies that I just love to death. But here he is. Here is the Woody. Yep, definitely looks a lot better than the one I owned. It's weird because even the one I owned looks shorter. I guess he shrunk in age, I really don't know. And his head doesn't wobble <laughs> like mine did. So there he is, and what you do, I know this one, you put your two fingers in the butt pockets and you walk. <laughs> looks pretty ridiculous but yeah it was a pretty cool concept i thought as a 15 year old so here is a closer look of woody himself so did you guys have these toys growing up did you want these toys growing up do you wish you had them what are your thoughts on the toy story franchise please leave me some comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys and also if you want to follow me online just type in at Tim the Toon Man. You'll find me on Twitter and Instagram. Again, look up SaturdayMorningRewind.com for more information. And I guess that's about it. So I will see you guys next time.